during my time fishing on Wolverhamstow last year, I was really surprised in the amount of big bream that this complex held. With huge shoals of 50 to 100 fish, the, the lower must really hold uh, a substantial amount of big bream. I'm not an out and out bream angler, but from what I've sort of learned and read up on that they really do sort of like grazing around and they're more of a bottom feeding fish. I use simple tactics of ground bait and uh, casters and always fish sort of one or two rods in the edge with light balance caster hook baits. Not fishing too far out, I noticed that I did manage to catch quite a few bream last year fishing close in so that's where I mainly focused my fishing on. Fishing accurately as well was always a a better option and fishing on the winds just like you would use your watercraft in any other angling i noticed that it wasn't only carp but all other species tend to follow the wind and the uh, filter of natural food on, on the end of nice warm spring winds When I was doing these short bream evening sessions, I really noticed that you could get some great action. Most of the fish were over double figures with an average of around 12 pound. I had them to 14 pound on the nose and had multiple catches sometimes. They're beautiful, clean fish, and I was really surprised that there just isn't the amount of specimen anglers on that complex that you would expect. It must be one of the best bream waters in the country, and I'll certainly be doing a little bit more of it in the future. 